I don't understand why this Bode and Nike collection is so fucking gay looking <laughs> in the most non rude way possible. Like, why does it look like this? Why did why did the clothes look so frilly? Why is there no like I don't know? Why is it why does it look like this? Especially when you think about the collections aren't this wishy washy. So Bode came together with Nike. They put together some shoes, which I which I actually like. I love the shoes. I'm not gonna lie. I would definitely fucking wear the shoes. The shoes look super, super hard. Um, they kind of remind me a little bit of the Mars Yards from Tom Sachs back that back in the day, a little bit. So it's retail image of the Nike Astro Grabber um, shoe down in collaboration with Bode. Um, some people are suggesting that they're the Samba Killer or something. I don't think that's the truth personally for me. Um, but I do like the look of them. You've got like an all white, I guess you've got an off white cream type of upper there um, with, a, oh, with a white midsole which so with the white midsole and the white outer which obviously looks you know similar to what you'd imagine a tom Sachs mars yards look like um there's no real discernible toe box it's all kind of one piece around the front um mesh upper which probably might be a bit wild for myself with my big fat toes and feet you know you might have some of your knuckles sticking out here unless you get the correct size which i'm usually not the most knowledgeable with i always like buying a shoes a bit smaller and take out the insoles so that might be a bit of a mad one but they do look pretty cool and they also come with these little accoutrements that you put on the laces these little um crabs and lobsters and shit jordan peterson style right on the laces and also they got the bowed um insignia on there on the tongue so it's quite a quite quite a cool little sneaker to be fair quite similar to like a field general and shit but it's not it's called an astro grabber so i guess it's meant to be like a baseball shoe or something i don't know um the pair in black comes with these little is it like a pearl drop no it's like a it looks like a it looks like an anvil like a like an old school kettlebell it's like a round little metal ball on the laces there and it's obviously in all leather so it's up to you you either get the all black in this all leather style which is really plain leather no tumble or anything with the off-white swoosh or you get the cream pair with the mesh all over it i, I like the hill counter actually the hill counter suede i love that this is a nice little hit i'm a big fan of this whenever people do monochromatic shoes it's just all black and all white i love when you just switch the panels so you have like one part suede one part mesh one part you know tumbled leather but it's all black. I quite like that. I'm not going to lie. I think it looks pretty cool because it picks up the light differently. And when you wear them, they're kind of wearing a bit different. But these leather, this these ones, I'm not going to lie. The leather and the black pair doesn't look great. They look like they might crease like fuck, especially around the front. These look like they might crease really badly. And again, creasing is all good, but you don't want your brand new shoes that are going to cost you $150 to look like they've been fucking, you know, run through at fucking Glastonbury. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want that. But they do look pretty nice. I do actually like them. I'm not going to lie. The off-white laces are quite nice as well, but definitely the creams are definitely the best one. This cream colorway is just stupendous. I'd wear the fuck out of that shoe. So you see a model wearing them here. So they look way more pointy around here, but the model actually makes them look flatter. So they don't, they don't look as like pointy and narrow at the front as they do on the retail picture so maybe they might end up looking like that so i actually like look at them they look pretty cool like the look i'll definitely keep an eye out for them is there a release date here um it's still uncertain yeah so no no release date so far but the vogue cover the vogue um story here features some of the clothing in collaboration with the nike stuff the clothing just looks so lame like what, what the fuck is this like what is that what is that jersey what is that top what are those shorts like why does it look like this especially when the actual like a photo of the designer's dad in football yeah look at this designer's dad wearing a football jersey right number seven look how badass he looks there and then you've got this really limp-wristed shit here at the top why is it like that like i don't get why it looks so wafty like why is why is the jersey like leaning off of one shoulder like why is it why is it all like very twink coded but the dad's obviously a bit of a chad a bit of a bro but we got all this like timothy chamelet football wear it's so odd. I would have preferred it if it looked a bit more badass like this, to be completely honest. A bit more brutish, but it doesn't. It was a little bit, you know, a little bit lame, a little bit limp wristed, a little bit lollipop lollipopish. Like these these thermals under the shorts, like what the fuck is this? Horrendous. The only thing that's good is probably the batting gloves, but I don't know if they're part of the collection. The batting gloves look quite cool, right? I think they're batting gloves, I'm assuming. Right? Batting gloves, catch and miss, I'm not too sure. Um, this top here apache cod like with the tur like this v-neck top with the turtleneck underneath no thank you these fucking african uncle nike short nike trousers no thank you 
Maybe these I'd wear the pop socks this girl's got on look quite cool. They might look quite cool, but I wouldn't wear them with these shoes, right? Because this is giving apartheid or something, isn't it? This is giving fucking freedom fire. I'm not really on this. Um, the shorts are okay. The top, no thank you. Again, like, what is this stuff like? Why does it look so ugly? Why is the dad uses inspiration in this amazing old school vintage picture of him in the 70s? And then you got all this very wishy-washy stuff. The thermals, no. Maybe the socks, again, are pretty nice here. That top is maybe a little bit okay. Take off the strings, but I guess the strings is part of it, maybe. That might work. But again, it's a, it's a cropped top, isn't it? It's a cropped jersey top with an elasticated, like, yeah, I'm not I'm not with that, to be honest, in the slightest. So, again, I don't know why it looks like this. It looks really fucking awful. Unfortunately so. The shoes are very much worth your time, I think. The Bowden and Nike Astro Grabbers, but I think the clothing could get thrown in the bin for me. It's absolutely horrendous, in my personal opinion. Is there a release date? Let's see if they said anything about a release date for the shoes. Release date? Nope, we don't know. Cool. No release date. Brilliant. We don't know about the release date. So I guess, you know, I guess it's no, nothing, nothing lost there. Nothing has been lost there. We don't know the date. We don't know the blood clot date. What an amazing time to be alive. What an amazing time to be alive. You gotta love it, innit? You have to fucking love it.